Hey yo everybody, just before we get into this video, I'm just going to show you the price tags and all the other stuff for Star Wars Battlefront 2. This game still at the moment on the 24th of February it is 6 dollars I was just going to record the video, I've had a little bit of problems with it, 2 frames per second. Uh, last week I was at, I was working with my dad for the whole time so I couldn't make any videos, you know that kind of stuff that happens. Uh, I've just put up a, a COD video today that I found it was pretty good. Uh, I think the one I uploaded was the one I have had for quite a long time. I just didn't upload it because I was having problems with computers. Uh, yeah, and I'll just show you a couple of other things about this game. Like I said, six ninety nine. The Star Wars package itself is like seventy six. Yep, seventy six quid. Uh, this game is pretty old. The twenty fourth of March, twenty fourteen. I think it was twenty fourth. Yeah, 30, sorry, thirty first of March. Uh, the the uh, multi online multiplayer no longer is available. This Star Wars collection, it is for every Star Wars game that is on Steam at the moment. Uh, you got some recommend, well you got the recommendations from the creators. Uh, like this guy was saying, it was still pretty good for old age game, but he was waiting for Battlefront 3 to come out. Which was supposed to come out when the Xbox One came out. Unfortunately it didn't. Metacritic is 78 out, uh, 78 out of 100. I've gave my own review that I've just literally just put on now. Let's just have a look at it. Pardon me, but is this is what I've said about it? Do my just tell anyone do my YouTube series about it again, and uh, I'm st I'm still enjoying this game after all this time, still playing it with my free time and everything. But uh, that have to do it for now. I'll catch you when I start and do the video. Then anyway, this is your boy Flame. I'll catch you in a minute. Right, yo, I'm back. I'm just showing you this little part of it. We're gonna attack my Gito or my Gito, whatever you like to call it. But I believe it's called my Gito. Uh, this is the first mission. We're gonna go take a energy collector source from them and we get from the separatist uh, manufacturing plant this one I believe is the one when you have Kiadi Mundi I'm not 100% sure because my mind's global all over the place I play skirmishes I haven't played the campaign in a really long time but uh, I'll, sh I'll show you this I'll sh carry on this recording as soon as I get through this loading screen I'll catch you in a jiffy yet again in the waning months of the clone wars the 501st faced missions critical to the agenda of Chancellor Palpatine. When we arrived at the bombed out ruins of Maigiro, our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid energy collector. What Kiari Mundi didn't know, however, was that our unit of the 501st was really after an experimental Maigitan power source oh, really? that the Chancellor wanted for his super laser. Hashtag Death Star. Keeping Mundi <laughs> in the dark wasn't easy. The Jedi had become increasingly wary of the Chancellor's doings. And we're on the lookout for the slightest hint of treachery. Just like the rest of them, though, he never caught whiff of what was really going on. Until, until it was too, far late. too late. Anyway, then, uh, we're now into this. Uh, ooh. To be honest, it's been a little while since I actually played this. Can I spawn this? No, I can't. Okay, clone trooper, that is. Okay, wow, that is sensitive. Uh, okay, right, I'm not man. used to this. Today's target is an energy collector on the northern side. Hey, at least perhaps is actually doing okay. I've literally, um, the, the reason why it took me so long is, like I said, the uh, fraps kept them uh, crashing. I used to get like three frames a second, but I think I've sorted it out. And I was actually gonna go ask my little cousin Callum, like, uh, what would he do about it? Because, let's put it, to be fair, he put he's a little bit more knowledgeable about traps and all that even though I've had it longer than him than I did. so yeah I've um my young cousin Helen he's a smart ass guy yeah uh, or I'm not no I'm not sure but to be honest actually Helen's I don't know what he's doing but he knows what he's doing but again he's so good my ass he'll be at uh, some of the games he plays like FIFA <coughs> I'm all, uh, I, th this is a reason why I don't play my FIFA. Uh, last time he might have almost beat me double digits. Yeah. And I was playing as Real Madrid. And I think he was playing as West Ham. Yeah, embarrassing. <coughs> anyway, enough of that about that. Uh, the funny thing is though, saying that, I actually gonna, I have two videos of, uh, FIFA 15 to upload against a uh, certain guy who I don't exactly talk to anymore. Hint, hint, if anyone really knows. Well, everybody pretty, pretty much should know by now, anyway. 
Anyway, let's throw the grenades. Okay, kill off all these magna droids. No, not magna droids, magna guards. Get yourself healed, get some ammo, and capture this CP. The good thing about this, okay, you might have like infinite amount of enemies, but uh, you don't really ever lose a command po well, command post. Uh, Unless really the objective is to camp, well not camping but to protect it. Okay, what I'm going to come as is a heavy trooper to take out these particle cannons. Yeah, they, those are the anti-air particle cannons. But they they shoot near you, the area effect it will it pretty much take you out one hit. But uh, actually not. Forget that. We're going to spawn up as a not clone commander jet trooper, jump in a ATRT. Take out this particle cannon. Shoot, uh, shoot these grenades at it. It destroys its story. Oh crap. ATTs. Ah! Crap. Ah! Oh crap. Uh, do I want to play as Kiadi Mundi? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? It'll make this easy mode, but. Uh, no. I'd rather not. I'd rather have a nice chill, be as a clone. Just love a good hit of that. I'll destroy it. And the this place re realistically any day I would have picked uh, someone like Kiari Mundi, but uh, I want to play as a clone. I haven't, I haven't, it's been two three weeks since I played as a clone, and uh, saying that, in all honesty, it's been about a month since I honestly played uh, Advanced Warfare. The best way to tell if I got new footage really is if you see me with uh, the green. Well, the green uh, gloves, exo gloves. Then I'm ha having an old footage. If you see me with the KVA assassin uh, gl gloves, then you can tell it's me. That's the best way to pretty much tell it. But I got that a little, little bit ago. And uh, the second best way to read tell, if I'm using ASM1, new footage. If it's just a bow, old footage, pretty much. But then again, there is one game that I played recently that was just bow, and I've done pretty good at that. And there's me thinking this is going to be a pretty boring game, but it turned out to uh, actually came really good at the end. And the reason why I say it's a boring game is because, well, let's just put this. It's a boring game, yeah, okay, I might got a lot of kills, but uh, it's just, it takes so long to find the bloody enemies because they're just camping. And them kind of games, I'm not, I'm kind of 50-50, I want to upload it. Like, it, it could be like a, fi it could be 50 kills flawless, but if I'm just running around forever, I'm not going to upload that because it's just boring as hell. Okay, we're gonna destroy generators. I'm just gonna shoot EMP launcher. Oh crap, we gotta reload. I don't know, does the droids have pretty bad aim or am I just a beast when it comes to dodges? Well, apparently, I got my badass Batman grenade throws and my EMP. Okay, maybe not. I was gonna say I can get a double with one shot with the EMP launcher, but apparently, that's not the case. And uh, I did make another account for the. Um, YouTube series so like I have everything that fresh and I won't have stuff like elite rifles and all that but uh to be honest if I'm having if I'm not having elite rifles this game will become quite harder and as you can see the top left I've got the precision pistol uh yeah I don't really want to get rid of the commando pistol just yet so I'm just gonna keep using that I basically have limited ammo precision pistol I'm gonna have a, a scope on it and everything but uh I'm just gonna swap to EMP launcher now take out that droid here uh, there's another one at the front, isn't there? Okay, there's another two. That's the flank of the sentry. Yeah, bad man thing. Anyway, just gotta destroy this energy collector source. And the best thing, I still got for it 60 frames per second. Hell yeah! That's actually the first time in a long time I've seen it just being a steady 60. Like, most of the time now, I'm, I'm, there's always drops. Like, I, like the uh, little intros esque video I was trying to do. It was dropping to like 15 and then 2 frames per second. The best thing I like, when whenever you have the objective and friendly fire is on, so I don't really want to get shot by that guy's rocket, but uh, I was I was literally dropping down to 15 or 2 frames per second when I'm just in the Steam Store video, like showing the Steam Store introduction of the video. Uh, that got me a little bit annoyed. Anyway, I'm going to try to snipe some droids with a pistol. Bad man thing, get it? Damn it, you guys showed up. Okay, I'm gonna stay back, just pop with the EMP launcher. Okay, there we are. But how the hell did they pull this far forward? 
grenade over to him and I'm almost dead, are I? Ah, I need heals. I need healsy doodles. Yep, there we are. That should get us enough anyway. There. Okay, we definitely have enough now. And how are they spawning guys? Oh, wow. I just munched that bucket. That did not taste that well. It tasted like explos explosions and death. Except for the fact of me not dying. Uh, I only had like one death in this whole video, which is actually pretty damn good, considering it's me. Normally I would have died quite a lot more. But uh, I guess that's it then, isn't it? Yep, that's the uh, end of this one. Uh, let's just check the stats and then I'll do this little outro for for you. Um, let's see this then. The success of the mission on my Guido was something of a revelation for the men of the 501st. Suddenly, we realized that the Jedi could be fooled. And if they could be fooled, they could be killed. Really? <gasps> oh my god! Anyway, 49 kills, uh, one death, one ca one capture, and 127 points. Uh, you can see all the stats on the bottom. I have to end this video fairly quick, otherwise it'll just uh, go to the next thing and this game will crash. But anyway, and then I hope you like this video. If you have, give it a like. If you didn't like it, refresh it, give it another try. This is your boy Flame. Check out GTA for most of your games. Majority of them are cheaper on GTA than it is on Steam. Steam always had their sales, which does sometimes make it a lot better. But this has been your boy Flame, signing out. Peace.